welcome back to the vlog this week is a full-on writing week so pretty boring from a visual standpoint i'm really just been in my office typing away working on my manuscript toronto just came out of lockdown it feels like the millionth lockdown we've had over the past two years but that means this weekend Jeff and I are excited to head to Blue Mountain. We're going to go skiing with some friends. We've got an Airbnb. So I'm really excited. I haven't skied in a while. I've actually never skied with Jeff. But it's so funny. Jeff's from Halifax. I'm from Toronto. And we found out that when we were growing up, both of our families skied over March break weekend. If you're American, it's like our spring break at this place called Mont Saint Anne in Quebec. So we definitely probably crossed paths in like this kitty ski school growing up, but we didn't meet until 26 years later. So kind of fun. Um, we both have pictures the same weekend at the same places. So it's so funny that we definitely probably saw each other, but didn't know we would end up getting married all these years later. We yeah, are both really excited to just get out of the city. It's kind of that mid-winter slump. We're just feeling blah. We're supposed to get another epic snowstorm tonight. It's currently raining, but it's freezing rain, and then the snow is gonna start. So hopefully it's not too icy on the hills this weekend, but my plan right now is I'm just gonna pack. I'm gonna go through all of my ski stuff, make sure that my ski pants, coat, my ski boots, everything still fits, get my helmet ready downstairs and then i'm also going to pack the bag for the weekend with just some cozy clothes pajamas my toiletries but yeah i think that's kind of the big update we finished watching succession i've started watching the gilded age and we've started yellowstone we're kind of behind on the hit shows we just stopped watching tv for a while but we're back on our evening binges i think it's kind of perfect in winter and it breaks up the writing day for me to have something kind of mindless to look forward to um yeah all right let's pack <laughs> I just thought it'd be interesting to quickly show you all of my ski gear. I'll go through it pretty quickly. It's kind of like a mini haul in case you're wondering what I wear on the slopes. Not that anybody is wondering that, I'm sure, but I'll show you anyway. My snow pants are just black and these are North Face. I've had these for years and years and years. Awesome, can't go wrong. And underneath my snow pants, I wear hot chilies. They are the best long johns, so, so warm. And then my coat, I've had this one for years, is Rosignol. It's just kind of this like gray with black accents. Very, very warm. This is my ski hat. It's also Rosignol. It was actually my mom's from the 70s and I just stole it from her. But it's so cute. So I got my skis from the garage. These are K2s. I've had these for years. They've done me well. They've been to Switzerland, they've been all over the world, and I got them from Corbett's in Oakville. So, shout out to Corbett's. So I'll wear my hat around the village and to the slopes, but while skiing, I'm pretty sure it's mandatory on every hill now, I wear a helmet, this is Belay, and then underneath I kind of have this balaclava, just a black necky keeps me nice and warm. These are my ski goggles. Also, I think I've had these since I was maybe 10 years old. I probably should upgrade, but they are Smith. They're pretty stretched out. It has my old home landline phone number and my last name in them in case they got lost when I was in ski school. 
But yeah, these are pretty sweet. These are my old mitts that were in my ski bag. For Christmas, I got these super warm Swanee. I don't know if that's how you say it. I'll show you here. Swanee, Swanee. Anyway, these are so, so warm. I have Renaud's, which basically just means I have the circulation of a 90-year-old woman. I think it's a lot of women have it, but basically Renaud's syndrome is just where when I'm in cold weather, extreme cold weather, my extremities get white. It cuts off the blood circulation to my toes and my fingers. So it takes me a long time to kind of defrost once I get inside. It looks really crazy. You can see where the blood stops and then the rest of the tips of my fingers and my toes are completely white. I can't feel anything. It's kind of like that pins and needles feeling as it slowly de-thaws. And yeah, apparently it's a circulation issue. I've had it for as long as I can remember. So it just means I have to keep extra, extra warm because it's easy for me to get cold. So because of that, I use hot pads. I put them in my mitts and my boots. These are a life saver and a game changer fun little side story i went skiing at tromblon once and i had these in my carry-on bag and i got pulled over into security because apparently these can detonate bombs because they are self-heating so uh they confiscated my ski bag and i didn't know that so never travel with these in your carry-on yeah learn my lesson the hard way and then back here are my ski boots so that's pretty much everything and we are good to go. On our way to Blue Mountain, I'm just making a coffee to go. Car's all packed. So we'll see you on the road and then at Blue Mountain.
Thank you.